Happy Valentine's Day, Gothamites. Welcome back to Batman Arkham Knight. Today we're looking into one of the DLC side stories, A Matter of Family. Batman got his? Where you going? Thought I heard something. Where's Batman get his? Joker's got my father. Maybe we should call Batman. He'd be able to- No, Joker specifically said he'd kill him if Batman showed up. If anything happened to him, I don't know what I'd do. Don't worry, Barb. You've got this. He's gonna be all right. How can you be so sure? <laughs> Well, for one, Robin's a good luck. <laughs> Welcome to the ranch, boys and girls. Today is all about earning your wings. Let's see if you can rescue Gotham's fires before it's too late. Tick tock, tick tock. Where's Gotti? Give a girl a hand. A matter of family mostly revolves around uh, Batgirl and Robin going into this amusement park and saving Commissioner Gordon. That being said, it also involves quite a bit of uh, dual tag team uh, combat. So I hope you enjoy that. I know I do. Batgirl fights uh, pretty similarly to all the other characters. The difference is that she seems to have a larger counter window. So you'll see the counter icons appear on enemies for longer, and you can also counter them sooner. How about some help? At least that's the way it seems to me. There's a terminal by the door. What are you waiting for? I'll leave the hacking to the computer, Wiz. One of the bigger features of the uh, Batgirl DLC is that she's kind of a computer whiz. So she gets to do a lot of extra things with these, uh, with these hacking panels, but we'll be seeing that in a little bit. There. <laughs> hey, kiddies! Great work! I know I may seem tough and overbearing at times, but I'm really doing this for the benefit of the family. Think of me as Papa Bird, lovingly pushing you from the nest. You either spread your wings and fly, or hit the ground and die. Let's do this. After you. This place never opened, did it? Never got a permit. An oil baron built it for his five-year-old daughter. When she died, he disappeared and the project fell apart. Now the Joker's turned it into his personal playpen. Watch it, Batgirl. Sniper. Wait here. I'll take care of him. Hold on, Robin. I've got this. How'd you get so good with computers? Books. Ah, books. I've heard of those. Tim. Yeah? Not now. Case in point, you can see I was able to take care of that, uh... Take care of that sniper without being close to him just by hacking that, uh... Mushkel panel. We'll be doing that quite a few times throughout this DLC.
We've got a hostage. I see him. Wait here. I'll take care of this. Easy, cowboy. Let's work together. I'll distract the sniper, then we'll take down the henchman. Sounds like a plan. On your signal. Now! <laughs> that was easy. This isn't over yet. Focus, Robin. Always. Uh, see, it used to be simple. I blow things up, he shows up, start all over again. They ambushed us. We didn't see him coming. I don't know what he's planning, but Gordon, he's in trouble. He'll be okay. I'll make sure of that. Now there's you two knuckleheads spoiling my game. My game! Not funny. Robin, RPG! I see it! Batgirl, you okay? I'm fine, just a few scratches. How's the hostage? A little shaken up, but he's okay. He says the Joker ambushed them at GCPD. He's got other hostages. Great. Where are you? In the park. I'll wait for you here. No. I'll find high ground to scan for more hostages. You see if you can locate the Joker. life and he puts me down here. The frickin' nerve! Next time I just keep my frickin' mouth shut and agree to everything he says. <sighs> you know what? He's just abusing his power. Teaching me a lesson for talking back. What the hell am I got? Nothing. If I wanted this boring crap, I'd be working some frickin' office job. At least there I could speak my mind without being punished like some worthless rat in a box. Rat in a box. That's all I am. Next time I zip it and let him say whatever he wants to say to the Joker. Even if he ends up like Paulie, all blown to bits with an RPG. One of the ongoing mysteries of this DLC is what exactly happened to Polly? I have no idea, and it seems like the rest of Joker's thugs don't either. This shouldn't be a problem. Be my guest. I'll call him up. You go down. I'm just saying. I doubt them do-gooders are coming this way. It just seems like a waste of time. You're getting paid, aren't you? Yeah. Then keep that mouth shut. The whole thing breaks down if we stop listening to the guy in charge. And I'm the guy in charge here. Sure, just seem like you're punishing him because he didn't like your idea about the Ferris wheel. You ask me? He saved your life. Who knows what the Joker would have done had you suggested that idea. Last person who suggested an idea to the Joker was Paulie. You heard what happened to him. I heard it was because he made a pass at Harlem. I don't think so. I heard he suggested an idea for the whole Ferris wheel thing. And the Joker thought he was trying to be funny, so he shot him in the face and tossed him in the sea. I thought it was the stomach. No, it was in the face. All I'm saying is, with a boss like the Joker, you don't suggest nothing. You just nod your head and agree, or you end up like Paul. Rest me, Mug saved your life. So one of the things you can do is to weaken henchmen defenses, How am I gonna make it up to the which will allow you to do instant takedowns for a certain amount of time. I believe there's a challenge for doing five takedowns within a certain amount of time, but it's, uh, it's a little bit tricky. I think the most I've been able to do is four. And there's only really two opportunities to do it in the game, so, uh, well, in the DLC, I should say. So, good luck.
As far as gadgetry goes, Batgirl's equipped with explosive gel, the line launcher, batarangs, the remote hacking device, which she probably made herself, and uh, smoke pellets. Look good. She's probably not as proficient with them as Batman, at least in this DLC, so she's not able to do any of the uh, special, uh, special gadget combos. Yeah. Never mind. Don't do that. It can wait. You sure? Yeah, yeah, it's, it's nothing. It, it can wait. Watch yourself. Out there. Ditto. This will. Oh yeah, she has the bat claw. I mentioned that, right? Anyway. Um, this will actually change in the combat challenge maps. Uh, you can play as Batgirl on all of them. And, uh, she has the... almost the same abilities that Batman does. Lots of guns here. I need to find a less direct approach. I heard a different version. I heard Paulie just asked the Joker why he was wasting all his time on Batman when he could be robbing banks. You know, making money. And that was it. Bang, splash, in the sea. Well, that makes more sense. How does that make more sense? You don't just discuss Batman with the Joker. Everybody knows that. Say the wrong thing and you swim with the fishes with a stomach full of lead. Paulie should have known better. Feish, not vicious. Swimming with the feish. What are you, freaking English teacher? Nah, so shut it. Something else you'll have the opportunity to do is to turn off the lights in a room. <sighs> Joker can be a Despite the thugs having flashlights on their guns, they're not very good at this whole looking around thing. Unless they run right into you, in which case, well, yeah. You need to find the commissioner. Who knows what Joke is doing to him? Batgirl, I may have something here. I'm picking up traces of charcoal and potassium nitrate. Explosives? That's my guess. Great. Let me know what turns up. Let's hope nothing. There's chattering Joker teeth around, and knocking them out is sort of an achievement thing. I won't be doing it. Robin, I'm in position to scan the park. Let's see if we can find them. I think some people are just born annoying. I don't know. That lady. Good work. Yeah, 200 years ago. I concur, my lady. Do you? I do. Robin, I've located the hostages, but I might be missing a few. I'm still following the trail. Good. I'll free them. You let me know what turns up. And be careful out there. So there's a few things to do here in the amusement park. Obviously being an amusement park, there's quite a few sights to see. The Ferris wheel, the merry-go-round, the uh, test of strength. And I'll be going and checking out the test of strength first. So how does this thing work? I have no idea. All I know is the park was designed by a kid. I think I read about it. The girl's dad was like a billionaire. Guilty dad with lots of money builds a park for his dying kid. I guess that explains this. Well, no lack of imagination, that's for sure. Maybe you have to hit the bullseye with a smaller hammer to get the bigger one to work. Could be. Or maybe you have to throw a boulder on it. What if you have to jump on it? Don't kids like to jump off things? Yeah, but jump off what? Those balloons I knocked out were also one of the uh, collectibles that ties into the achievement for Joker Teeth. 
there's also a uh, Jack in the Boxes that Harley Quinn has laid around, but as I said, aside from showing them off to start with and maybe just hitting one when it catches my fancy, I won't be touching them otherwise. Luckily, these amusement rides are pretty easy to start. And whenever you finish one, there are four of them around the park, well, you get a little bit of uh, backstory on the amusement park. For this one, you just have to find yourself uh, pretty high up, and then, much like the... Uh oh, hello. Much like the Riddler challenges of yore, you just have to find yourself on a very high area and dive bomb onto the target. I'm not actually sure what the required height is for this, but I know I hit it. I mean, I did go from the highest point in the park. My dear Katie, you cannot know how happy I am that you will get to see the park before we officially open to the public. You should know that all this you see around you comes from our talks in the hospital. Daddy was paying attention, and he used your drawings for inspiration. When I showed them to my friend, Dr. Quinzel, she said you were a very talented little girl, and that I was a very lucky father. Don't I know it? So yeah, there's a little bit of a mystery here, and Dr. Quinzel is somehow involved. This can't possibly go poorly. seen that even though Joker doesn't exactly treasure his uh, his subordinates ideas he does at least provide them with medics and these medics do have the ability to revive and to charge up his subordinates which you know I thought that was a uh, thought that was a militia thing you know they had the special suits but hey, you know whatever comic books That animation bugged out a little bit. Normally guys with weapons aren't supposed to attack you more than one at a time, and yeah, you know, whatever.
They don't have my... Batgirl, something turned up. I'm gonna need your help. Bomb? How'd you guess? This keeps on getting better by the minute. Follow my signal. I'm waiting for you. Get Joker. Man, am I glad to see you. I thought I was a goner. Freaking maniac almost killed me. When you see Joker, do whatever needs to be done, you hear me? You've got to stop him from hurting others in the future. He's never going to stop. Not till he's dead. He thinks he's doing this for Batman. He says he owes Batman everything. What the hell does he mean by that? Oh, I'm sure we'll find out someday. Meanwhile, some thugs have set up a bomb inside the Great White Shark roller coaster. You got something planned? Damn right I am. Painted something for. Should sure like that. Once you hop in here, the timer for the bomb will start, so it's in your best interest to, uh. Well, take care of the fight quickly. Deactivate the bomb. Super. There's another one of these carnival games down here, but I can't do anything with that one just yet because, well, there's a sniper overlooking the area, and mm, the snipers in this DLC are about at the same level of bugginess as they were in Arkham Origins. Um, good luck. <laughs> I don't think that I've had the same num same amount of trouble with the snipers in the main game, but there aren't as many as I recall. This carnival game is one of those memory match games. You uh, turn around a plate and then you have to find the matching plate. It does remain the same between playthroughs, so this is always, you know, a static set of plates. But my memory is bad. Luckily, if you fail, all you have to do is restart it, so it's nothing too terrible. And you're even treated to that neat little, uh... Neat little jingle every time it starts. Oh, 
You may not understand this, but what happened to us, what happened to you, changed my life for the better. Even Dr. Quinzel says I'm much more alive and present since I gave up work to take care of you. Actually, come to think of it, she was the one who suggested I build this place for us. To inspire me, she introduced me to a strange man in a purple suit who gave me a lot of unique ideas for the park. He calls himself Jack White. He's got a great laugh and sense of humor. I, I think you'd really like him. Now, this is where I'm kind of kind of curious on the continuity here, because if at this point he's getting help from Dr. Quinzel, and that's Harley Quinn, and she's already involved with Jack White, who is the Joker, um, well, Harleen Quinzel is a fairly well-known public persona as Harley Quinn. I mean, it's not exactly a secret that she's Harley Quinn at this point, so how does this guy with all his money not not know those? You know, whatever. Comic books. So we can't get in there quite yet, but, you know, we can always find a tool to take care of that. Uh, first thing first... Use that crane to help me get through the barricade. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I want to do another one of these side games first. This one's fairly simple. You know those games where you have to, you know, move uh, cars in a certain order to, uh to get the indicated car out of the parking lot or whatever. It's that kind of game. We just want to move that one that's in the middle uh, straight to the front of the room. That's fairly easy. Just requires a little bit of a... Uh, just a little bit of movement. Nothing big. The scariest day was when the doctors told me there was nothing more they could do. I could do use that me. crane to help me get through the barricade. That you were going to die. We can be grateful to Jack for referring us to Dr. Penelope Young, who did for you what traditional medicine couldn't. It's because of her special treatments that you're here today. I thank Jack endlessly for referring us, and even offered him a new wardrobe. But he told me he was quite satisfied with his wardrobe, and he was too pleased about the suggestion. I really hope I didn't offend him after all he's done for us. Those sharp-eared among you may recognize Dr. Penelope Young as the doctor from Arkham Asylum who invented Titan. So, you know, everything goes in circles. But, we're gonna drop this little box right on top of the plate and that'll let us in, so please join next time when we wrap up this fantastic DLC.